So guys, Danny Jacobs says that he's unconcerned about what the, you know, whatever the judges do. And personally, I think that's a, I, th I think that's a great way for Danny Jacobs, a great mindset for Danny Jacobs to have. At the end of the day, Danny Jacobs can't worry about what the judges are gonna do because he's got to do in the ring what he's got to do. You, you, you can't go into a fight thinking, oh, the judges are not gonna be on my side. The judges already got him two rounds up. You can't think like that. You just got to go in and fight your fight. Sometimes. The judges might be on under the spotlight and they might go the other way in Danny Jacobs' favour. You don't know. It's happened before. I doubt it because Canelo's so important to the sport. So I can't see that happening where Jacobs get any favours. But um, I do think there's obviously a lot of spotlight on it. So a lot of people are talking about it. So the judges are going to be under extreme pressure. Um, I, I, I do think... I, I think Jacobs has just got to go out and fight his fight. You know, forget about the judges because at the end of the day, you're in against a, a great fighter. You can't go and fight a fight where you're assuming that the judges are just going to give it to him and leave yourself open and give you give Canelo opportunities to, to to counter you and hit you and you know because like I said, Daniel Jacobs can't afford to fight an aggressive, you know, reckless fight because Canelo will will definitely make him pay. So Danny Jacobs has just got to go and fight a smart fight and just then hope that the judges are fair. You know, if he goes in there and puts in a great performance and it's close and he doesn't get the decision, the fans, at the end of the day, fans will see what they saw. So Jacobs has got to be, forget about the judges, forget about everything, go in there and just give it give it his best. Uh, go out there, look to fight to his best fight to his best and that's all he can do he can't control what the judges are going to do you can't control there's no point of you worrying about something that you can't control uh jacobs cannot control what the judges decision the judges make uh he can just control how however good his performance is so you know he's he's got to he's got to control his performance not not worry about what the judges might do because the judges are going to do what they're going to do you know he can't he can't help that so jacobs has got to go out there and fight his fight uh, he's got to be smart. He's got he's got to know that he's fighting one of the top fighters in the world, uh, one of the most skillful fighters in the world. So you know if Jacobs can fight his fight like he did against Golovkin, he stands himself in good stead. Uh, if he goes out and starts thinking about all oh, the judges this that and starts uh, trying to become reckless to knock Canelo out, then he's probably going to give Canelo opportunities to knock him out. So you know Jacobs has just got to be smart um, and on his A game if he wants to win. Uh, he can't worry about what may you know be happening. You know, think he can't worry about things that he can't control. Basically, he needs to worry about himself. He needs to worry about his game plan and following the game plan. Going in there, smart, fighting a smart fight, and hoping that the judges are fair and they they give him a fair shake. But he can't control. He can't control that. He can't control what the judges do. So yeah, guys, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Uh, about uh, Jacob saying that he's unconcerned about the judges. Leave your thoughts. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.